Hi guys. So let's learn this song So Far Away by the band Avenged Sevenfold. So it's a bit weird that I'm teaching you on the piano because there isn't a piano in the song. It's very heavy distortion guitar. But uh, yeah, it's a nice song and uh, I don't play guitar. So it's uh, I'm going to share the song on the piano. And uh, <clears throat> if you're a keyboardist, you could um, you could play it. and uh, have some fun perhaps not on a piano patch but on a synth patch or some heavy organ patch uh, if you're a guitar player you can watch this one to learn the chords and make sure you're playing the right chords and a lot of the chords i tell you will be power chords in the sense i may write e minor and show you e minor here but actually the guitar player in the song at least one of the guitar players in the song is playing like a very deep power chord so a power chord is built using the root the fifth and you double it double the root with an octave now the reason why power chord sound so powerful one one reason is it's played down below the sound is definitely a lot heavier and if you were to play things like minor chords or major chords down below it's going to make the sound very cluttered or very muddy which is why power chords work in a rock band or in a heavy in a metal band or in a progressive band right so you could play the normal major or the minor chords but try to play that on the higher registers somewhere here on the piano we try to play it around middle c and if you're playing power chords try to play it in the lower registers anyway so i'm just going to go through all the chord progressions as you can see there's a verse there's a pre chorus and a chorus so these three things are the core of the first what do you say the first maybe 3 minutes of the song right and then it loops and after that the song goes really crazy it goes to a bridge where you have e major and a lot of other things going on you have chords which are even out of the scale which i'll talk about and then you have a really amazing outro so he doesn't really come back to the chorus part he goes to the to, to all sorts of parts in the bridge however after the bridge is over you'll also have a guitar solo and you have two really amazing guitar solos which you guys could check out if any of you want we can perhaps transcribe that in another video um and you can learn a bit more from it however in this video we are just going to go through the the chords and the basic rhythm structure right so let's start with the verse which is a very drony kind of sound the song is on e minor and borrows the chords from the parent scale which is g major scale so you go na 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 so that's e minor and then an e minor with an add 2 so an add 2 meaning so it makes it very um i don't know uh pink floydish a lot of pink floyd songs have that sort of sound a lot of progressive bands also have that dream theater and and the like na 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 okay so that's the same old e minor but you need to figure out a way to add the 2 the 2 from e is f sharp right the major second not not the minor 2 that's going to sound very very dissonant na 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 again oh sorry the first one is normal e minor na 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 and g na 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 d na 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 He does an interesting accent there with the drummer on B minor and C, where you go one and two and three and four. That's B minor, C. Okay, let me show you that. Na 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 na. So that's G major and D major played together in the time of four beats. So that's two counts for G. Na na na, two counts for D na na na, and then B minor going to C is in this interesting rhythm which I have notated here. One and two, 
one and two and three and hold na 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 and so on let's just do the whole verse and it repeats into two then goes to the pre chorus which is really simple c and d which sort of builds up the excitement to the chorus na 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 one more time e minor na 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 e minor add two na 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 g g na na d na na b minor c and then the pre chorus c major d major and chorus na 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 e minor na 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 and the a minor na 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 e minor na d major so that's a quick change there in line 1 and line 2 you have e minor going to d all in the span of one bar let's try line 1 of chorus na 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 So he ends with, so it's pretty much the same chords as you can see for both lines: E minor, E minor, G G, A minor, A minor. Just here, instead of E minor D at the second line, we go to C and D. So it's pretty much the same progression. So there's also a nice rhythm pattern which I've written down, which you guys could play. <coughs> That is. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e. Okay, so that's one e and a two e and a three e and a. Okay, sounds a bit weird, but that's pretty much how the chords are played. And once you hear it, it'll sound quite natural. not getting that you can perhaps just do um yeah and so on so uh, also it may be tough for you to get this uh, 3e e and a uh, so what i will do is move it to the 4 that will be a lot more playable Right, so that's one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Or you can even do it at the end, one E and a two E and a three E. Right, well it's nicer I think to put it on four. You can decide. So the it the guitarist sort of shows you these accents, doesn't play it exactly this way, but it's a rhythm pattern you could try out. So let's try the chorus again. root notes in the left a minor e minor d again e minor g a minor c d a minor and now this when you repeat post the bridge Pause this part. It goes back to this part. When it goes back to chorus number three, you need to repeat this phrase, which I put in the brackets. That's A minor, C and D repeated once more. Okay. So now let's go to the exciting bridge section of the song, which follows uh, where and a guitar solo follows that. So you have the same chords here for the bridge and the so and the solo. So you have E major. Na na na. So you would no 
normally be inclined towards playing E minor, but E major obviously makes it sound very epic, and that's the vibe in a in a progressive song. You will have these non diatonic chords which are always used, right? So let's see how that sounds. <clears throat> na 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 c major na 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 a minor na g d with f sharp e major na 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 c na 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 c na back to chorus and then you'll also have a guitar solo following this on the same chords and then it goes back to the chorus and after that chorus is over we have an outro which is quite an elaborate long outro it's not something like a one bar thing it it's an entire chord progression which is very different so you go and every chord as i've written here is two beats each it's quick changes and this one's really fast a minor for 2 G for one, and then D with F sharp bass for one. So let's go through this. Na 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 na. This is that guitar solo. E minor, D, A minor. the chords are almost following the guitar solo if you look at it so try to go listen to the melody and try to sing the hum the melody of the guitar solo it's not like a show off guitar solo where he's playing like a million notes per second he's he's playing a very singable tune which um, is probably as catchy or even more catchier than even the the vocal tune right so try to follow the guitarist and the chords shift fast and at the very end of the song he says so far away really really high and that's where you go e minor d major c major and stay so far away c stay on c and repeat that and then hold it with the last chord at the ending Yeah so it's quite an elaborate chord structure but uh, playing it wise it's not very technically challenging try to find a rhythm which is comfortable for you and repeat that same rhythm throughout the song first and then see if you want to add something the first thing you need to do is to get the chords right right so try to isolate each chord from each progression uh, and practice each progression in a sequence and then uh do the next one and the next one and then try looping it and always try humming the melody line even if you don't know the lyrics which i never know uh try to hum the melody line and that will really help you to to play for the song more and not play in your own shell right so hope you found that lesson useful catch you in the next one cheers don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell icon for notifications leave us a comment for any other video you'd like us to do next and don't forget to share the video with all your musician friends cheers